Hey everybody, happy Monday. I have repositioned my microphone. And I can hear myself so much from, from Nathan's computer because he doesn't have his headset plugged in. Um, and it does sound a lot better. I had to move stuff around on my desk. I'm sorry for the popcorn ASMR that's probably happening right now. Um, please take these from me. Okay. Oh, but happy Monday, everybody. Happy uh, solar eclipse day. Um, how did you honor the pagan god of the moon? Um, there, uh, I don't have a puzzle. I don't even know what I would do with the puzzles command. Do I use Nathan being a curmudgeon about puzzles? Or I don't even know what I would do with it. I don't even have like a clip of me being like a gremlin and being like really excited and just saying puzzles in a funny way. Uh, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Homer, where's my pen? Okay. Oh no, my pen. All right. Got to make it a good one because we're going to play that shit all the time. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> you you guys get to pick um, because it will inevitably be taken from a clip or something. Um, so I, I absolve myself of all duty, um, and requirements to getting the puzzles audio, um, and place that solely in the responsible hands of my viewers who I'm sure will not abuse this power that I have bestowed upon them. But yeah, it's Monday. There was a solar eclipse. I hope nobody crashed and died. Um, that was in like the, the, like the total ban, um, with the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the States of Amer United States of America. What? No. Panas. Uh, I am, I am f familiar with Panas. Yes. I don't know. Yes. I don't, I don't know. Nate, am I familiar with Panas. Penis. <laughs> no, if it was penis, it would be. I'm, am I even in the text field? Hold on, it would be this. So there. Hmm. But I will not wax poetic, um, other than to announce that there may not be a stream tomorrow. Um, the hilarious thing about last Tuesday when we were supposed to have a contractor come over was that he didn't come over. Um, so he's coming over, uh, tomorrow, which, you know, Ooh, super fun. Awesome. We love that for us. Um, don't, <laughs> don't ruin your joke. Um, I don't get it. Um, <laughs> this is the pants of my I, I have a feeling that whatever narrator I have uh, says, and this would be proved to be a huge mistake fairly frequently, um, because I am I am nothing if not a series of mistakes. Um, but yeah, that's the only announcement. There may or may not be a stream tomorrow. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. I post in there. I might post on Twitter. I don't know. Sometimes I forget. I forget Twitter exists. I'm sorry. I forget x exists because elon musk's favorite letter is x um and i don't think that that's weird of him i definitely don't mm. but yes that's all i've got all of that aside welcome in nate welcome in brooks i hope you're all here for a good time um it should play the 90s X-Men theme every time, every time I say X. I'm sorry, every time I say X. <laughs> that would be very funny and that would be a lot. Well, no, that wouldn't be fairly frequently at all because Twitter is Twitter. Be <laughs> like... Like, what? so like you, you tweet on Twitter... Right. What the hell do you do on X? 
And I think you take sort of the Chinese pronunciation of X that sort of she and like you sheet on you sheet on X. You shit on X. On blue sky, I skeet. Uh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh my God. Um, is that what it's called on Blue Sky is skeeting? Here, I've, let me get the game loaded up while we have this truly, truly amazing discussion of social media. Um, boom. All right, let's do this. We're going to solve puzzles. I'm sorry if I unintentionally yell in your ear because I've moved my microphone closer to my face. This is a risk you took being here. I feel like I should have just a scrolling warning list during my stream starting. I don't know if that would be funny. It might be funny to me. Continue, please. That the community lar you, at large uses ironically. See, if, if a large community uses something ironically sufficiently enough, it will cease to be ironic usage. Which I also find fairly entertaining. Alright, let's solve some puzzles. I've done one and two, which naturally means we're going to go to five. No, we're going to go to three. Boom. What else will we discover? What long text files will I have to read? I have no mini map. I don't know which way is north. I, oh, oh God. It's like high noon all the time. You would find it more entertaining, Nate, if, if you liked skeet as a word. Ah, oh, skeet, 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 skeet. We're going to go to this one. Oh, so many directions. What directions shall we go? We go through this one. Lock me up. Locked me up. Swallowed the key. Ugh. Someone's going to have terrible bowel movements. Where is my gym jammer? I found it. All right, let's jam this. Three, two, one, let's jam. Okay, I see turrets. Ooh. What are the keys for? I'm afraid to pick them up. <laughs> yes, you swallowed it last Tuesday. You swallow it every Tuesday. Oh, I know what the keys are for. Keys are for this ding-dang door. This is an analog key. Do I not get to keep the key? Hacks. Was that not the answer? It, gamers TM. That's right. That's right, Nate. Alright. Second jammer required. Key. What are the keys for, Brooks? Keys are so I don't have to pay attention to this goddamn ghost trying to, <laughs> trying to make you play something. That's fucking right. <laughs> what a weird mechanic. Venetica was such a, such a time. Oh, hold on. We have done this improperly. We must do it properly by getting both Jimmy Jammers in here. And taking this baby boy all the way to the birdie boiler. And now we get to learn how to use a ladder. Oh, we just yeet ourselves over the wall. Alright. This is shaping up to be pretty good. 
anytime Nate has to lockpick anything in any game, all he sees are those two two ghosts. Were they brothers or were they boyfriends? Brothers. Oh. Listen, that narrative played out way differently in my head. Escalating problem? Well, I don't like that. I would like a de-escalating problem. Well, now we've got offerings. Wait, wait, seek seek counsel? Here, those who are worthy may seek the counsel of my blessed messengers. But their wisdom shall not be given easily, for your accomplishments must be your own. This is a quote for me. If Elohim's messengers can read this, one of his flock is in need of aid. A messenger must be awakened first. I spent much time waiting for the designer to take my hand until I realized that he had been guiding me all along. I realized it isn't for me to seek his help. It is for me to help myself. I found the hint system. What an incredible discovery. <laughs> Fuck you, wherever you are. Oh, what did I get in here for? Okay, and then where do you go? Shit. Ah! Ama yes, amazing chest ahead. Try butthole. Now I have to open this up again. That's very hunt funny. The counsel of my blessed messengers must be earned. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, okay. Blessing you there. All right. Well, let me see. Presumably, like that, maybe that corner is far enough. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe. It is. Okay. This helps no one. Oop, shit. I've already forgotten what my... Oop, stay, me... stay away from me. What is my jump button? That's my jump button. Uh... Well, I hope whoever, whatever, wrote, whatever anonymous person wrote, try butthole. Oh, fuck! How do I leave me alone? I am fairly confused. Do I need to awaken someone to help me? Can I not do that one yet? I also hope they know how much mirth they brought into the world. Because that shit's really funny. A bit tied up. Oh. Rare. Oh. That's fun. this one.
That scared the shit out of me. That's not true. There's that one. This is just a s me juggling jammers. Alright, star. I want the star. Um. Can I get the third jammer? Without dying? That feels unlikely. That's fine. But I want that star. How do I get the star? By messing up. That's fine. Okay, what if I do... That. And then I take this one. I put it over here, and then I take you, and I put you on that one. I did not think it this through. Hold on, I need him to come back. Come here, nerd. Thank you. And now I have all three of them. And I am the prettiest princess. Today's stream may or may not include... Um... Uh-huh. Um... Bird noises as I have the window open. It is so nice out. could not say no to having the window open. All right, let me see here. That's right, give me that star. That's my star now. We've won. Okay. All right, you're up. Stashed for later. Okay. Alright. That's where my little shape is. Um, I'm just gonna leave you right where you are for now. Because I do not wish to expire. Oi! All right. I have keys. Why did I bing bong? I saw a gate. Where did I see the gate? Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Well, I guess it was down this way. Never mind. Ah, haha. 
Thank you. Uh, excuse you. I don't necessarily know where I'm going quite yet. Everything glitching out is... That glitchy sound freaks me out. Okay. Actually, I need you elsewhere for now. I need two Jimmer Jammers. Which means I need you to do that. I need this one to go over here. And then I'll take this one. And now I have two. Which makes me God's favorite princess. That's where the keys were. Come on. All right, there's that. Well, I don't know about that, hold on. the range. There's one. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Did not enjoy. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. But we did it. Nothing can stop me now. Are there just the three? Do I only have that red one left? Oh, I've got a terminal here that I can look at. Okay, so yeah, it is just the... Oh, there's a second star. Which star didn't I get? Maybe it's in the red one. All right, we got a connectivity error. Okay, excellent. AI feedback email. We keep discussing what an artificial intelligence would mean to us and how it would change our lives. Oh wait, no, we've already read that. Team leads email. We know that one. I think we know this one too. Admire of Aristotle, shit burned in the library of Alexandria. All right, we already know all that. Um. Okay. Ah, uh, it's peaceful water. Okay. Um. All right, which means I have to figure this bullshit out. Messenger must be awakened. What messenger? Am I not the messenger? Messenger. Did I miss something out here? This feels like it's just one big circle. 
Can't really get anywhere else. Right? Yeah, this is just one big circle. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Oh, wait. I know. I know what it means. Hold on. Hold, hold the phone. Hold on. Because I've been collecting all these little shapey shapes. I'm putting all my little shapey shapes over here. And now I can do this little thing. Right? Boom. I have unlocked turret. Whoa. Have I unlocked turret? Or a uh, connector. There is much that you may learn in the halls of my temples, for there is much that you do not know. That is why you are a child. Oh, is that but why? children are made to learn. And in time, they come to have dominion over the lands of their home. So okay. it shall be with you and your generations. That's a lot of pressure that I don't... Frankly, that I don't need. Um, well, I didn't get a star in that one either. Well, I don't like that. I'm missing a star from this one too. How bent out of shape am I going to be about this? I think fairly bent out of shape. Mm. A messenger must be awoken. Messenger. I ain't threatening you. Calm down. <sighs> That's why you're still kids, because y'all are stupid. And I'm like, listen, I don't need you to call that out. I already know that I am. Oh, I got it. Fuck me. Oh. Ha 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 Eat shit. I mean, we're gonna do this this way. Hold on. I have to trap you in this little room. I didn't think that little, that little block over there was gonna be tall enough for me to just stand on it and grab the guy. But here we are. Goodbye. This is an escalating problem. Crap. Uh, well, this is an interesting development. Um, Puzzles. Puzzles indeed. Oh, 
going on. I guess, can I... Not drop. I guess I can't really see that one. Fuck. Well. All right, no, this is fine. This is fine. We're fine. Theoretically. I'm glad that your number one Simpsons favorite, your favorite quote from The Simpsons is hired goons. That admittedly is um, information that is completely lost on me. Keys are in there. do it through the iron gates. Hmm. How do I get you down here? Or how do I uncover an additional jammer? Instructions unclear. Platforming unavailable. Hi, Alistair, honey. We have been joined by a cat. The silliest of cats. let him back out? This doesn't help. That was the wrong jam. Shit. Well, all right, got him. Fuck you. All right, well, now what the hell do I do? I have to use you to get through here. But I can't get you over here. Huh. Th 
Thank you, Nate. Thank you. It is very much the beep, beep, beep. Dang it. It looks like I can just grab you, dude. Not that you'll just turn off. take objects from higher ground, but that's the only one. I don't need to reset. I'm, I'm not giving up. Hold on, am I supposed to disable? Was that a red herring? Are you supposed to be up here? Hold on. My child, there is Shut up, Elohim. I got shit to do. If the answer does not come to you, do not despair. The worlds of my garden are many. Shut up. Dad, I got this. No, don't. I lied. I don't got this. I lied. I don't got it. All right, no, we have to trap... We have to trap this guy. Which is fine. And then I take the jammer. He's stuck in there now. And I'm fine with that. also take items that are lower than me? Is that why? I can! Ah, uh, listen! I did it. <laughs> oh, see? I got it. Kinda. Alright. How the hell am I going to do this? Is there nothing of great value or interest around me? Nope. Okay. It is just get in, get out.
Wee! <laughs> my skills are infinite and my knowledge is vast. I'm coming for you, God. That was a mistake. Now what do I do? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> now what? Do it through there. I only have one jammer. I am just a poor robot. Nobody loves me. I've only got one jammer. Huh. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know, I know. I think. I have to... know what okay hold on I know what I'm doing I know what I'm doing which is a delightful change of pace I got this I got this you come to me and then Let's trap you in there for now. Thank you. And then I will go put you here and on there. And then I'll go in here. And I'll get my jammer. Thanks. Thanks. And then I go over here. And I jam this gate. Then I go over here, and I get these keys, and then I get the hell out of Dodge, and I unlock this gate, and then I take my jammer, and I, Oop. I fall off the ledge. I'm coming for you, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no is right. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to do this from up here. Okay. We just have to be patient. Killing God requires patience. I don't know what I'm doing. Other than trapping this little dude. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. That's a fun development. And then they'll destroy each other. <laughs> try, fail, try again, fail again. Listen, I did it. 
I like that there's a ladder here for a reason. Just launch yourself off the edge. It'll be fine. How do you like me now, God? Is that everything? We're gonna live with that. And we're gonna move on to world four. Oh, are those stars gonna make me mad? Those stars might make me mad. We'll see how I feel after I finish this. Uh, this, whatever this is. These worlds and we within them are made of words. Oh. Hidden words, invisible to you, yet part of all things. We are. Oh. A... Whoops. Well, okay, so don't do that. Go ahead, God. Oh. He's not gonna tell me now about how we're all made up of words. What's over here? Oh, shit. Death. Death is over here. Alright, I won't do that. Maybe I'll do that later. Sometimes you can pick out the element of a puzzle that was like... I finished this puzzle and it was great and then someone who tested it and they were like, oh shit, how do I make that not happen? Yeah. Downloading user profile, registering profile. Congratulations, your new user account has been registered. Would you like to see the details? Sure, display conflicts. User provided an objective response when asked for a subjective one. User provided a particular account of personhood but was uncomfortable with its implications. User sought to maximize both liberty and quality of life, but these ideals are incompatible. User had inconsistent ideas about value. Okay. Display my psychological profile. You may already be criticizing your own perform- God damn it. <laughs> But it's clear you understand how the world of ideas affects you, even if you are sometimes weary with the realities and allow your preferences to dictate your beliefs. You have a great deal of unused capacity, which you have not turned to your advantage. Discipline and self-control outside. You tend to be worrisome and insecure inside. But you pride yourself as an independent thinker and do not accept other statements without satisfactory proof. Uh, <laughs> okay. Does, uh, what are my account privileges? Would I like to know more about what? <laughs> Due to outstanding notes on your account and despite displaying many of the characteristics of being a person, you cannot be granted admin status at this time. In the meantime, please enjoy the basic account functionalities. Who? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Ah, crap. Access the com portal. Nate, what would I like to know more about? Throwing myself off of the cliff. Oh, would I like to know? Yes. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. You currently hold a basic account. Network access is restricted to administrators. Please enjoy the basic functions, <laughs> functionalities. I'm sorry I wasn't able, better able to assist you. If you're still encountering a problem, please describe it. Account certification error. Thank you. A support ticket has been generated and appended to your profile. You will receive a notification when a reply has been sent. Okay. I'm not a person. It told me I'm not a person. Okay, what's this progress email? Or progress reply email. Hi all. Everything's been moved to the EL facility. 
I know it's been sad to leave the good old Jeff building behind, but it makes sense for us to be on site, especially as there may be sev oh, severe power outages in the coming weeks. Our Katie's, teams, uh, our Katie's team are is already working. <laughs> S stuff. Okay. But you really don't need to worry about the teams getting in each other's way. The facility is genuinely humongous. Let's get this show on the road. Nadia. Okay. Mail error. I'll keep this short. You all know me, so you know that I know what I'm talking about. I realize that you're all working on projects meant to somewhat avert redacted a solution. I believe that redacted preserve the non-biological components of redacted. Redacted, not in terms of redacted immediately. You'll find the details of my proposal in the attachment, but the short version is redacted. Global undertaking redacted. Huh. Okay. On beginnings. Ugh. It is the grave error of many philosophers, not only of the Athenian schools, but also of many others, that they begin not with observation of the cosmos as it surrounds us, but with a conclusion already in mind. And often that conclusion is that the world was created ideal and mankind itself is the greatest creation of the gods. Yet neither the world nor the gods owe mankind perfection. It is, an, uh, it is arrogance itself to presume so and contrary to all the methods of philosophy. The honest philosopher seeks only the truth, even if it bears no comfort. And he must begin by assuming, as Socrates said, that all he knows is that he knows nothing. Here, here. Give me puzzles or give me death. Um, but I've already done that twice. I like this one. This one's got more places for me to wander and apparently throw myself off of. This place is nice. Thank you, Nate. Thank you. Do I want to do this? Yeah, probably. But I'll do it later. As soon as I'm done figuring out what the hell else is going on over here. Brr. Biz buzz. Motherfucker. I don't think I'll survive that fall. I genuinely don't. Okay. Oh, shit. Listen, I may be robot, but I am fragile. It feels like I can go over there, but it also feels like I'm not supposed to go over there, which makes me want to go over there even more. It's a problem I have. It's a condition called being an asshole. Who was that? on magpie brain is taking over the answer that came to me again and again was play every human society in recorded history has games we don't just solve problems out of necessity we do it for fun even as adults leave a human being alone with a knotted rope and they will unravel it leave a human being alone with blocks and they will build something games are part of what makes us human we see the world as a mystery, a puzzle, because we've always been a species of problem solvers. Which is a fun idea, the idea of an actual Homo Ludens. Um, that Homo sapien plus toy or tool becomes a completely different species because it registers the toy or the tool as part of its body. 
fundamentally changing the organism, which is interesting, especially given that we've observed like crows and like a handful of other species also using tools and toys. That fall is totally gonna kill me, right? Like. But I wanna go over there. Okay, well, I made it over here. This is now a game about me just wandering around. I want to go down there and not to die. But I don't think that that is in my fortunes. Woohoo! Can I hippity hop all the way up here? Sweet. Excellent. Okay. Well, questions that will be answered later, potentially. Hopefully. Maybe. All right. So the answer to the apocalypse is being able to play games. I think that's a bit. Oh! Behold, I am Elohim, and I speak unto the darkness. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excess data cleared. Whoa, dude. Uh. Well. Um. That was unnecessary and very loud. And it made me think that I did something wrong. when I most certainly didn't. Um, woo Launching myself off of cliffs. See, I feel like I can go down there, right? Like that's not super far down. Okay. Guess not. I'm not allowed to go on to the beach. The beach, beach. Fine. Beaches, your beach sucks anyways. Push it further. If you insist. connector. Point at a target. If I do... Okay, if I point at a target, like, over here. And then point at another target. Hold on. I need this one. We're gonna connect the connectors and hope that the streams do not cross. Only that they connect. I win. All right. Burr. Branch it out. The beach is for closers. <laughs> I want to go to the beach. I want to. I want to be where the sand people are. Oh, hold on.
Ooh. A wall does not want to work. All right. I need to connect those and that connect all of this shit and the connector up there. All right, let's try this. Boom. 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 Start closing real estate deals. I didn't know real estate was part of the game. All I'm here to do is solve puzzles and collect Tetris pieces. Okay. This way. Don't cross the streams. I'm glad that we're making that joke. I hate these kinds of puzzles. First thing I'm going to do is cross the stream. Okay, so they directly interrupt each other. Fun. need to elevate it just a little bit. That does not elevate it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm presuming I have to connect them both in order to open this. Which is the correct assumption. So then if I go around this way, there we go. He's moving the wrong one. Oh. I didn't miss anything in here, did I? Excellent. Ooh. There we go. Whoosh. Next up. Next up. This one. Ooh. There we go. Um. I mean, I would... 
figure that Nate's never seen Glengarry Ross. I have also not done that. Uh, to be fair. I missed the title of this one. Have I seen that scene? Put that coffee down. Uh, coffee. I don't have coffee. I don't have coffee. I do. I got no strings to keep me down. To build me up or to make me frown. I got no strings. I can see there are no strings on me. Okay, hold on. Is this a Pinocchio game? That's the real question. Are we playing a Pinocchio game? Success. Is that it? I crave adventure in the great wide somewhere. There we go. just designed to kill me past past this rocky ledge. I have a feeling I am just not supposed to go over there. Oh, shit. Definitely wasn't supposed to go there. There's a star in here? Which one had a star? Ugh, whatever. Alright. Joink. Well, there's that. It's one, two, three, four, five. Uh oh, it's a bit dark and rainy. Quit blinking at me. All right, what do we got? E L D H U L. EL, short for Extended Lifespan, is a groundbreaking initiative by seven leading universities to create the world's most stable and most durable supercomputer. With its custom-made hardware, bomb-proof casing, and near-inexhaustible hydroelectric power supply, EL represents a unique step forward in the evolution of human technology. The brainchild of Nobel Prize nominee Dr. Arkady... Mm, EL will... And, burp, burp. Download press kit, meet the team, apply, contact. Okay. EL is in Elohim, presumably. I've moved I've moved to the British section of the game. Is this the is this the section of the game where they've moved the ruins to the British Museum? Okay. Profile Okay, issue 199 profile, Alexander Drennan. Once a true artificial intelligence has been created, the issue of citizenship is going to come up. If we acknowledge that the AI has all the abilities of a human brain, should it not be considered a citizen? Is it not, in the legal sense of the world, a person and thus a potential citizen? But where do you draw the line when some, will, uh, when some people will object? Will the great apes become citizens? Elephants? Whales? The more intelligent parrot species? It's crazy, they'll say. I would remind these people that we live in a society that we live in a society. End of statement. <laughs> that we live in a society in which a corporation as an abstract an entity as one could imagine is considered a person. So it's not like there is no precedent for a non-human uh, non-human being a person. At least an artificial intelligence is an actual thinking being, not just a business arrangement. 
But perhaps we do need to question the definition of personhood. Increasing amounts of evidence regarding the intelligence of elephants or the existence of culture among whales, for example, could be a sign that we need to answer some difficult questions. Who better to debate these questions than the young genius who revolutionized the... Just rain all the time. That's why they steal everyone's ruins. Okay, okay Athena8.txt. You must consider these riddles, said, uh, the Sphinx said, and tell me the riddle that I did not reveal. The Sphinx smiled, the gears in her jaw creaking, her teeth a nightmare of rust. Her left eye flickered, but none of its terror was diminished. The ruins were silent. In the... error. I think she finally said that the riddle you did not reveal is this. Why do these riddles exist in the first place? Why do these curious automatons, these mute children of Hephaestus, behave as they do, forcing me to devise these intricate solutions? Each is a riddle, but the greater riddle is their purpose. The Sphinx did not answer. Her eye was lifeless now. Athena removed it from its socket, knowing that its power would aid her, yet feeling also a deep sorrow at the passing of this fearful creature. Um, an adjustment on that story that I had not considered. All right. All right, we got five and two stars. Guys, I think that's really going to bother me that I didn't get those stars. I think it's going to keep me up at night. Okay. What are these? The certification program is a sham. What does a computer know about humanity? The more I converse with these terminals, the more I wonder what role they play in this contraption. How do you tell a friend from foe when no obvious lines are drawn between the two? Okay. I have traveled to the edge of the known world, though it seems to stretch on forever. Our domain is much less than we imagined. Okay. More audio locks. I was in school when I first read about the Talos Principle. I think it disturbed me at the time. It made me hyper aware of my body as a physical object, the material reality of the brain, ideas that made me uncomfortable at first, but long run it helped me understand how frail human beings are and how precious it's not a comforting way of thinking about the world but i'd rather face the truth than lie to myself what about humanity's frailty that's hardly anything new do it with two boxes okay hold on that which means i need to go unlock my doobly-doo Woo! back to the temple all right, let's go get the box thingy. the box. I have now unlocked box. I guess God's got nothing to say about that. Buzz buzz God. Yep. Do the stars have functionality in everything? I'm doing world five, right? Or se session five. Okay, hold on. All right. 
Whee! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I have unlocked box. Well, that's a lot of little post-it notes over there. Alright, I got a box. What do you want? What do you want with the box? What's in the box? I am Schmendrick the Great. Oh. Do you want my box? Well, you can't have it. It's my box. Alright, well, that was a thing we did. It's over here. Absolutely nothing. Oh, here. You go. At least I can stack them. A powerful device fashioned by the designer. What's a hexahedron? A cube. The edges are beveled, that makes it a decahedron. You forgot the indents. With the indents, it's like a super polyhedron. But the convex hull is a decahedron. Topic closed. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> what, a, what a wonderful discussion. That's lovely. Do I use the box to get them to blow themselves up? Do I stand on the box? Okay, that does not work. <laughs> but does stacking two cubes work? <laughs> oh boy, okay, all right. Come here, come here little guy. All right, standing on the box doesn't do anything. What the hell do I use the second box for? Come here, Dorcas McGorcus. Every time you hear Jubilee Doo, you can only think of Jeff Thu and the wacky an bad animes. I'm s I do not follow. Please explain. America, please explain. Can I stack two and get over this way? Did I miss something back here? No. Okay. Clearly, I don't spend enough time on the internet. Whoa. supposed to do? Okay, hauling ass doesn't work. I can't carry more than one. Unless, can I, hold on. Can I jump on that one? No. In his video essays, he always uses doobly-doo to refer to the description text as the, oh, link in the doobly-doo. Yeah. The, the Green Brothers do it. Um, oh, who? There was another guy that was sort of in the Green Brothers orbit 
20 years ago. What was his name? I do not remember his name. All I remember is that he had really dark hair and he was balding. Rip Apis. for me. Do you want me to crush your enemies? With the box. What the hell? can't jump on both of them. <coughs> I feel like I am desperately trying to escape a computer program that is failing. is smart. I can do the thing. Yeah. Oh, man, that lightning strike definitely made me think that. Oh, okay, hold on. Maybe I don't use it as a distract. Maybe I use it to make a gap in their path to throw off their, synchros their synchronization. There we go. Oh. Whoop, that was a little close. Okay, did I do that enough? Hey, Yosh! Enjoy that Torlop sippy time. There we go. Listen. Now we're thinking with boxes. I did it. And now we jump up here jump up here and then we get the little piece <laughs> puzzles I do not understand why the designer chose to put such flaws into the world that it appears almost as if it were damaged but I must believe there is a purpose here I cannot see shut up Elohim making the rain stop you turd Oh, there's a star. If the designer is perfect and he designed me for a purpose, I must be fit for that purpose. It follows that my purpose must not be to seek and hoard every sigil in his land, for so many are beyond the faculties he granted me. I want the star. There's a star over there. Is that a different puzzle? Yeet. That doesn't have a star on it. I bet it is the adjoining, the neighbored puzzle. Well. this one. Friendly crossfire. Shit. Ugh. 
Angry puzzle. Angry puzzle involved guns. Angry puzzle involved turret. Can I just get that one to come out and start screwing up everything? Okay, there's that. Burp, burp, burp. Okay. That worked beautifully. Now what? Hmm. How close can I get? Not close enough. I want this box. I want it to that mine to get blown to smithereens. Hopefully that works. Yep, there it goes. Kablam! Excellent. And now... And now we jam that guy. Uh, I'm a little worried about its field of vision. Okay. Don't know why I came in here. Don't know if I needed to come in here. Uh, ha ha! I have two stars. It's a terrible review on Yelp. All right, which means that we are gonna jam uh, that guy. And then we're gonna take this put it on there there's a little seat council thing i don't think i need to seat council but i'm curious as to what it says okay if elohim's messengers can read this one of his flock is in need of aid a messenger must be awakened first boom all right. Next one done. Just gonna plow right through these, I guess. Going over the fence. It's over here. Okay, okay. We're gonna be thinking with boxes and connectors. That's fine, that's fine. I can do that. I can... No, the rain's back. <laughs> okay, I need... Jeez, okay. All right, hold on. I think that's... Okay. Okay, that's just the entrance. You can't even see it. I can't even see where it needs to connect to, so... A weird question. I love a weird question. You know, that I know the answer off the top of my head. What does death smell like? Do you mean the concept of death or do you mean decay? 
And in that case, which kind of decay do you mean? Do you mean uh, flesh decay? Do you mean plant decay? Like a relatively, f relatively fresh? Depending on what you mean by relatively fresh, a dead body does not smell. Um, once it starts to putrefy, the smell, what you end up getting, well, okay, trigger warning, this is going to get graphic. The first thing that you'll smell is shit, um, because the bowels cease to retain tension. Um, the ugly truth is that in the end, we all shit ourselves. Um, but if you're, ta if you're talking about putrefaction, putrefaction is sickeningly sweet. Um, and realistically, you have an innate sense of if there is a weird smell and it is directly correlated to something that is potentially dangerous to you, um, um, your brain kind of instinctually knows that. Um, so if you encounter a smell that gives you, like, the heebie-jeebies, um, there's probably a reason. But yeah, putrefaction smells sweet. Um. Yeah, humans just kind of know. Well, and we're not afraid necessarily of, um, plant decay. A, a lot of us find the smell of, that the undertone of plant decay kind of, it, like, that it's not a bad smell, or that it's not a negative one. Um, but the death of an animal or the death of another human being, you just know. Um, but yeah, there you go. It's, it's got a gross sweetness to it. How am I? Okay, going over the fence is fine. I can do that. But I can't even see this. And I don't have another connector. Analogous sense? Uh, I don't know if there is something analogous to putrefaction. Uh, I genuinely don't. Um, that would be... Um... The other thing is, um, most of the corpses that we will encounter in our lives have been highly sanitized um, and cleaned. Um, and the putrefaction smell is replaced with a very chemical smell. It'll smell like formaldehyde or some other sort of preserving, preserving um, chemical. Um, yeah, I think formaldehyde is fairly easy to... I That's another one, though, that you'll know the smell of formaldehyde even if you do not know that it's formaldehyde. Um. Son of a bitch. What do you want from me, game? isn't and that doesn't even connect I am curious as to what brought the question on Um, all of that to say, though, that if someone has encountered um, the raw smell of death, 
Uh, they either will not talk about it or they are professional. Trying to think of a way to describe a crime scene. Okay, from a functional authorship standpoint, um, the smell that you would register um, would be described as sweet, probably mixed with um, I mean, yeah, like retch inducing. Like it's, it's sort of the um, familiar with the sense in general terms. So I was trying to think of some level of some level of specificity. Um, as someone who has not actually been in close proximity with a significantly decayed corpse, um, I can't speak from personal experience. I remember I read a book by an, an anthropologist who's, who doesn't just do sort of like ancient recovery work. She does, she's, Sc she's a Scottish, I, I'm sure she's an anthropologist. She's either an anthropologist or, no, I think she's an, she's a Scottish anth anthropologist who does sort of like the diggy uppy stuff. Um, the stuff that we're just not, we're not gonna call it grave robbing um, <laughs> due to how long they've been dead kind of thing. Um, but she also does some fairly traumatic work uh, with, say, um, mass graves um, and identifying who goes with what goes with who. Um, and I read a book by her and I, for the life of me, can't remember it. And I remember her talking about it very briefly. Um, yeah, no kidding. Time to see if you can go to the body farm, which has all manner of interesting ways that they're looking at, you know, people decaying. Um, a friend of mine, uh, Tink, and I had a really long discussion about the body farm. She read up a lot on it. See, I can't see it from here either! Wah. Um... And uh, they do good work, but I remember it being kind of a, um, the local community did not appreciate the body farm's presence. Um, when they originally set it up, it wasn't, when the truth will not reveal shut itself, up, Elohim. Perhaps it is best to seek it in another place. I'm gonna do it. I need Elohim to believe in me. Um, they didn't originally have very good boundary markings, um, and people would wander in and think they wandered into a crime scene. Um, and I'm like, it's really weird to me that nobody saw that, that coming. Um, you need 10 foot high fences. <laughs> like, this should be clearly marked. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, I think realistically, I think it only happened once and it proved to be like an issue um, that the local community was like, guys, come on. And I'm like, you know what? That's fair. That's fair. I'll take this box. Give me this box. What am I missing? What am I missing? Am I supposed to go over the fence? Hmm. Ah. 
Okay, this was like here, right? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Jeez. You distracted me with all the body talk, Nate. You prevented me from finding a very simple solution to my problem. There. Boom, done. I am the Master Commander. Oink. Why'd the rain come back? All right, Brooks. Okay, if you murder someone, just build a fence around it. And with a body farm sign, no one will venture to find it. I think, no, I think some people will. I think you have to, um, well, maybe not. There is something, you know, to be said about, like, the bystander effect. Um, man, also, speaking of the bystander effect, that Kitty Gervais story is really, really sad. Um, but also told fairly incorrectly. Um... Kitty, Kitty Genovese, that's her name. Alright. Where's the... There's the red one. Okay. So, bonk. Bonk. And connect. Alright. But we're running in to a problem. Ooh, something, something, Jesus of Nazareth. Something, 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 something. Fools. I don't remember the lyrics to Jesus Christ Superstar. Is what I'm saying. Um, do you remember the original CSI had an episode where someone dumped a murder victim in the body farm grounds? They knew immediately because... All, yeah, because it, it is crazy cataloged. Um... And you can't, like, just open a body farm. <laughs> you know, as wacky, fun, and cool as that is. Alright. Alright, I need you... Wow, that's really annoying. Okay, um... Elohim, your temple is weird. I don't like it. As truly entertaining as this has been for me. One little buzzer. I think something's very wrong. If you'd seen what I'd seen at the edges of the world, you'd understand if it wasn't stretching and bursting at the seams. Okay. Well, what's that? Oh. You are an actual problem. Alright, what the hell do I do with you? I prevent you from bonking into my shit. There we go. Why well, am I be beep be beep be beeping? <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, like, dumping in the body farm, like, on its face sounds like a, a fairly ingenious way to cover your tracks. 
Is that the end of this world? Is that the end of this? Did I do all the things? Beep boop boop. I did. Do you change after I've, like, finished something? Oh! I have a reply to my support ticket. Display reply. An account certification program diagnostic has been performed and no errors were reported. Have you completed the standard troubleshooting procedures? Delete exist existing user account, create a new admin, email the network administrator. All right. Create new admin, e okay, delete. Create new admin account. In order to prevent unauthorized systems gaining access, you may sign in with blah, 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 blah. Would you like to undertake the survey? Okay, yes. Your issues with denial will be appended to your user profile. Further attempts to overwrite certification results will be logged. You'll receive a notification if your attention is required. Okay. My denial has been logged. Jeez. Okay. I've... No, there's another star. What do you mean there's another star? Guys, we can't leave them. Long ago. I shaped these lands according to the purpose of the hidden words. Thus, all things have meaning, where before was only chaos. Know that, and have faith. Dude, like, no. Demand to see life's manager. It doesn't say where the stars are. Fine. I won't get butthurt about it. But I will progress. Bruink? LOL dot email. Ever since we moved to the new site, I feel funny. No, not in that way, just... I feel like I'm probably about to start laughing at random. It's probably shock, right? An inability to deal with reality. Or maybe it's just that we're working in this insane place with this insane technology on this insane project, and so I feel like a genuine mad scientist. Stand aside, mortals. We will create life by the power of science. I mentioned this to Alex, and she got me a pair of fake glasses. You can't be a mad scientist without glasses, she said. Even Ian Malcolm had glasses. And I pointed at EL and said, Life uh, finds a way. Maybe you had to be there. J.E. Harrison. <laughs> Cicero. Oh, all right. Ooh. Shit. What do you got? Yep, more. Well, and I, more like the same Jeff Goldblum. Like the one Jeff gold bloom reference oh thank god a stretch let's stretch i gotta stretch oh it's already 9 30 oh that felt good thank you nate also if someone has the uh the milky fuel stamps and wants to test out the tts i did adjust its volume and it has a new voice now all right shall the industrious husbandman oh Never mind. Graves proclaims the specific chemicals that waft off of a corpse depend on a number of factors, including time, temperature, humidity, and even a person's lifelong diet. Uh, I don't know how that sounded to you, but it kind of sounded a little quiet to me. Like it was better? Man. I wonder... Alright, I'll have to futz with it some more. That's okay. I am, if nothing but a perpetual futzer. All right, shall the industrious husbandman then plant trees, the fruit of which he shall never see? And shall not the great man found laws, institutions, and a republic? What does the procreation of children imply in our care to continue our names and our adoptions and our scrupulous exactness in drawing up wills and the inscriptions on monuments and, whoa, panegyrics? I do not know what that is but that our thoughts run on futurity. K. 
cannot retrieve Tusculan disputations. 484 through whatever. Just like the Lovecraft approach described the smell as indescribable. There you go. Yeah, it's just every, anything that you are afraid of or cannot be described is indescribable. Would you imagine that so many and such great men in, of our Republic who have sacrificed their lives for its good expected? Do you believe that they thought their name should not continue beyond their lives? Nor ever encountered death for their country, but under a firm persuasion of immortality? <sighs> Themistocles might have lived at his ease, so might... Oh my god. Uh, at Epaminondas, Madas, I don't know. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> and not <laughs> to look abroad among the ancients, for instances, so might I myself. But somehow or other there clings to our minds a certain presage of future ages. And this both exists most firmly and appears most clearly in the men of the loftiest genius and greatest souls. Take away this, and who would be so mad as to spend his life amidst toils and dangers? Jesus Christ. Thanks, Cicero. Chatbots. Chatbots are becoming increasingly sophisticated. True, but hardly relevant to this discussion. You sure? How do you know that I'm not a bot? Don't be ridiculous. I'm not ridiculous. Honestly, how would you know? Haha, <laughs> troll. I'm not a troll. Yeah, right. Is there anything I've written so far that could not be or uh, that could not be written by a bot? I respond to simple insults like ridiculous and troll with very basic negations, and I detected that none of you use proper orthogra orthography, so I also avoided capitalization. What's the capital of France? Paris. Even the simplest script could pull that info from the net. What's the capital of Croatia? Zagreb. Okay, she's a bot, lol. I'm not a bot. I'm European. We learn these things in school. I've seen you in this chat room many times. Bots can't participate in discussions. At best, they can interject random comments. Sam is right. Stop trolling. Uh, vegan warrior? Sam is a bot. <laughs> Lol. All right. Let's see what we got here. One star, three reds, and a green. Hi. Hi, Al. You know what? This actually may be a good time to call it. We've cleared out several worlds. We'll save number six for later. Let me go ahead and actually, what is, I can unlock world B? Let's do that. Where is world B? This is A. Or I guess puzzle set B. Hold on. Let's see, if, let's drop off our shapes. Is it upstairs? In the great wide yonder? Wing, wing, wing. Alright, yeah, so this is 2A. Is this all A? I think B's outside. Yeah, B's outside. C, B. You got it. Let's see here. You're being addressed. Thank you. 
Oh, damn it, it's backwards. How do I do this? Hold on. There we go. Hiya! Alright. We've unlocked set B, but we're not done in A. What does this say? Oxyrhynchus.html. The great irony of the <laughs> Oxyrhynchus papyri is that such a vital source of information about the ancient world exists only because of a garbage dump. While the Library of Alexandria burned at the hands of fanatics and conquerors, depriving us of unimaginable insights into history, philosophy, and art, the papers carelessly thrown away by the citizens of Oxenrychus survive to the modern day. And though it is true that a great deal of what we know today is because of the conscious efforts of individual and organizations, such as the spectacular translation and preservation work done during the Islamic Golden Age, so much more is simply the result of coincidence and luck. We've lost texts that the ancients considered to be absolutely essential while utterly trivial, even plagiarized work has survived unharmed. Uh, redacted. So if we want our descendants to remember more than the glittering emo vampires and auto-tuned teen pop stars, we have to invest in the error. Make sure that error... We're not going to commit to a solution there, huh? Alright, Book of Osiris. The Book of the Scribe of Osiris, sometimes also referred to as the Book of the Journey to Aru, is an ancient Egyptian text discovered in the excavation of Oxenrichus. It has also caused a certain degree of controversy among Egyptologists, as some argue that it is a classic funerary text, such as the Book of Coming Forth by Day, while others believe it to be a poetic work not intended to be understood literally. The book tells the story of a dying man who asks a scribe about the afterlife. The scribe, a servant of Osiris, describes the man's ka, life force, will become separated from his ba, his personality, and how he will have to reunite the two and become an ak living intellect past a series of trials in the duat the underworld in order to re in order to reach the paradise of aru unlike similar texts the book of the scribe of osiris focuses less on giving advice or error a recent study uh, Karnan Has uh, Hassan suggests the text may have been intended as a philosophical commentary on the world of the living through the allegory of the duat it remains unclear whether this was the intent of the original pre-Alexandrian author or a result of the later translation into Greek. The earlier manuscript, which is considered to be more authentic, is too fragmentary to provide answers, though perhaps further excavation may err. I am familiar with the book of the scribe of Osiris. And I do not have but I do not have an opinion on the matter. All right, let's call it there. Aw, oh, man. I'm having such a blast. This is such a fun game. Uh, less than a minute ago. Yeah, we're fine calling it there. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you being here while I fumble my way through puzzles and philosophy 101 that I haven't thought about in, you know, 10 years. Um... But let's take a look. Let's see. Who is online? Who do we want to hang out with? How about... Oh, Spoon is playing The Land of Pain. What is that? Cosmic Horror for the, ecl for the Eclipse. Excellent. I love someone who also celebrates the Eclipse. Let's go ahead. We're going to raid uh, Spoon366, uh, who is a new person that I have found. Um, he's fun. He's into survival horror um, and has an incredible mustache. So we're going to go hang out with him. Um, 
the couple of us this evening. Have a great evening, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more puzzles and more philosophy. Oh, boy. Have a good night. Bye-bye.